Long way to go, but he's two up. And he's a leg up as well, most importantly. He won't care how many maximums he hits or what the average is. Never been interested in those kind of facts and figures. As well. well, this for an early break for James. And disappointed, he's one of the best at doing this, just shuffling across and finding the target. And there he does it. Down the board now. Already oh, went to the 25. Just as I, I don't mind that shot to bring it to a single to double. Lovely opening dart to this combination. He now wants tops. Clean as he likes, so it's Wade's heavy scoring and Ross Smith's ton plus outshot finishing, just as we thought it would be Mark <laughs> Webster. Is this the first? No, it's a third 140 visit for Ross Smith. Another there. So leave the big fish, that's the wrong side of the wire. Leaves the two dark combo, and Les Smith has a real roof raised at the end of his right arm. He's on the hunt for a couple of treble 19s. Just checking. Oh, good lead. And Wade's only going to get two. Gemini's he's more than enough, and it was on this occasion. Wade leads again. We open the match with three holds of throw here. And come out from the break and really attack. Why wait get... for the break to attack, Mark? Just attack now, pre-break. That celebration, we saw that particularly against Gerwin Price. He likes to give it some Ross Smith. And he's making inroads here on James oh, Wade's throw. Well, this is the chance for Ross Smith. He can leave this extremely handy. Leave a two-dark combination finish to come back to, to have a look at. 100. He'd have fancied less than 81 when the treble 20 was found, but nevertheless, he should get at least a dart at bullseye to edge in front for the very first time in the match. I think he should have gone elsewhere with his last start. 25 or a treble 19. But he gets a look. Ross Smith. For an early blow. And this is to lead at the break. And he does lead at the break. Timing from Ross Smith, but he grabs the first break of throw. It's been a high-quality affair. Humphreys against Vandenberg to follow. Oh, you could envisage it after one dart, and Ross Smith doubtless did too. That's his second maximum of the match. Just said he was shaking his head, he hasn't managed to build on the break of throw. He may get that chance here. Well, he's going to get that chance. May be one dart ball. Already feels like a key moment in the match, this, for Ross Smith. Yes. Two darts in hand, double 12, the target needs one. Smith really struck gold at the back end of that leg. One of the best players for getting the fundamentals right. And really sprayed that dart. It's afforded Ross a couple of visits at this 167. Massively jumped all over that error from James, though. All these lengths will count one in the final analysis, but you get the feeling this is going to be a very closely contested one and could seem significant to both players. It could even be one where they both have darts or darts at double. It's going to be one here for Ross Smith at double 16. And James Wade now plenty of chance at 120. Back James here, wouldn't you? If you're going to miss, miss a burpee for James, and he has done, and uses the guide up to tops. And why are we not surprised? James Wade has made a career on finishes like that, and he recoups the break of throw, and this match is level. Is this 
could be sort of running. Four successive legs for James. Yeah. And he's putting himself in the picture. Fourth max for the machine. Surely. Huge passage of playing coming here. Couple 17. Oh, what a shot this would be. And what a hit from James Wade. He hit a 120 on in the match and give it some, but he gives it even more there. Welcome to viewers joining us on Sky Sports main event. We're in the middle of a thrilling World Match Play quarter final, the first of the night between this man Ross Smith, who started off as the favourite, and the former World Match Play champion James Wade, who leads here seven legs to five in a race to 16 legs. As Wade, as Wade bangs in his sixth 180 of this match. Outstanding display from the underdog here. Needed as well. Smith was making inroads on the way through. 60. James will require 101. Well, he just wants to keep Ross at arm's length, keep holding his throw. Pins this. He's halfway to the semi final. Yeah, he is halfway James to the semi final. James Wade. You could back James Wade at 66 to 1, but you'd have to be a real machine devotee to have been tempted. I don't think too many people were tempted by that, who really thought James Wade could win, but I'll tell you what, not only can he win this match, can he go on and win the tournament James from here? Playing like this, he certainly can. A lot of things have to go his way, he needs a little bit of luck. But he's on course for a four-leg lead here. Just staying up there. Brilliant set-up play from James Wade. Again, leaves 36. He left it early on in the match and double nine bailed him out. And he hit it to book his spot in this quarter final. This is key, this is for a double break. Double 18, it's not as spectacular as the last leg. But it could be just as significant. There it is, double nine bails him out again, as Mark suggested. And James Wade now. But he hasn't been able to have the time and space to strut his stuff on the Winter Garden stage. Wade has suffocated him up there. It's all James Wade. And Ross Smith went 4-2 in front. We were thinking maybe he was going on the charge to try and pull away. James is starting to dominate the match. Tops. Well, that would have been for a fourth Tom Plus outshot of this match. An absolute exhibition of excellence on the finishing, but not quite this time. Ross Smith can't check out this, but he can leave it handy because James Wade coming back for double ten. He made a living out of finishing this. It's a good guide. He's gonna have to go elsewhere. Well, this is surprising based on what we've seen in the match so far. Some crumbs have been dropped off the table by James Wade. And Ross Smith has got to turn him into a feast. Needs Ross this. up a recipe. Double 16. Brilliant Game shot from Ross Smith. Ross Smith. Rare errors on the doubles from James. He knows he's missed the trick. They have control of this side. He maybe should be leading 10-5. That is huge. James looking to leave. Double eight. And that is now maximum number eight for James Wade. And what time? And again, Ross Smith is kind of feeding on scraps, needs a big finish just to recover a break of throw. 96. James Wade, double eight. Ross Smith has a two dark combo if Wade makes a mess of this. If Wade makes a mess of it. No score. Concern for James is not being as anymore. clinical and ruthless on the outer ring. He's offering opportunities to Ross Smith. Smith took one in leg 15, didn't take it in leg 16. Needs to take this, you feel. 
well, not a million miles away. Both James players have lost their dexterity on the doubles. James Wade, I think, has missed 10 in the last three legs. Just yeah. missed this one. Ross Smith has missed darts at double five in the last couple of legs, and he can't afford to miss. 13 in his match against Gedwin Price in the last 16. That's Wade, who's been on top in the 180s. That's now into double figures. 10 for James Wade. Now, to the two darts after nine darts thrown. One hundred and forty. James, you were five eighty one. Double thirteen. Sixty eight. Who else you were five ninety six? Like this. It's a big opportunity. Can't keep missing these chances, Ross Smith. He's had plenty in. It's this session be double double on double 19. It's not. He went hunting the treble. He's left tops. James, James Wade. 13. 13. Is it unlucky for Ross Smith? Five leaves double four for the machine. Yeah. The mean yeah. machine. Yeah. He goes 12. Yeah. Seven in front. Yeah. James yeah. Wade. learn more about a darts player when they're embroiled in a match what can they do when the back is against the wall what can they do when their opponent is on One top hundred. in a contest can they change the pattern of the match all players can look a million dollars when they're throwing well but what if they're down to their last buck can they produce something double 18 for roscoe smith yes a second 107 for ross smith Now it's just a case of finding a straight turn and ask the question of Ross Smith and yeah, up towards the tops this one will be. Well, bit close for comfort that James, well, caught the flight, wasn't it? Well he's had two 107s, can he add a 108? Well he can, that's 12 of them, 96 left, needed the treble. 52. Gets the James break and then just not forceful enough in this leg, Ross Smith. Credit to this man. Yeah. And he is now three legs away from the semi finals. He has the double break restored straight away. In the final to lift the title. 140. Well, that has to be his finest hour by the tower, but this will be a night he will remember for a long, long time if he goes on to close the door on Ross Smith here, because he was dismissed as an underdog, not quite as a no-hoper, but certainly as a rank underdog. Now, Ross Smith looking at treble 17 to have a look at, have a look at the bullseye, Ross. Oh, my! You talk about staying in a darts match. That's how you stay in a match that you're apparently losing. Ross Smith roars back to close the gap to three again. Can that turn the Tuxton tide here in Blackpool? 100. Ross Smith now really has got to produce something absolutely spectacular like that. Darts right out of the top draw all the way to the line now and needed for Ross Smith. He's a real purple patch here, Ross Smith. 140. Way down to 76. 15 dark legs are really what James Wade is looking for. That good steady level ton average will be enough, you would feel. And here, James Wade, a two dark combination to go within a leg of yet another semi final at the Winter Gardens. 16 will leave him a dart at tops. Cool, calculating and clinical, James Wade, 15, Ross Smith, 10, the machine on the brink. 161 points away from making it in to the last four here at the World Match Play in Blackpool. Ross will keep chipping away, but you feel he's left it far too late. 
No finish here, but it hardly matters unless Ross Smith can make it five three-figure out shots to stay alive. James Wade will be back for 61 if he can't. It was 61 he took out to complete victory against Nathan Aspinall. It was indeed. Nothing there for Ross Smith, not this time. So James Wade, he defeated Danny Nopper, he dethroned Nathan Aspinall. Now he wants 11 in two darts to KO Ross Smith. Double four. And that's the wonder of Wade. The machine magnificent as he dismisses Ross Smith to reach a ninth world match play semi final at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool. James Wade's ninth. Ross Smith had no answer. And Luke Humphreys looking to make the semi final for the second year running. But now he's won what he's won. And he is the world number one world champ. Semi final's no good anymore. Only winning is what he's after. Because he's decent, you know. Very decent, in fact. Currently racking a tournament average up of 105. If he were to maintain that and go all the way to the title, that puts him in Taylor territory. Yeah. And he did back to back 180, he won't do it any harm. Decent enough start. This is the problem with Luke, he needs time to settle in. 97. Luke requires 60. This for an emphatic opening leg. Data, break a throw 1 0 to the world number one. Yeah, that, that's just a man at a level that has no ceiling. It, it, he personally has no ceiling on the dartboard. I, I, I feel there's, there's a few of them like that. Get him in price seems to me like that. I know he's just been beaten, but I think Ross Smith could be like that. No finish for Luke Humphreys. So Dimitri Annenberg shouldn't be trying to take this out in the next three darts. Doesn't have the option in the end. 95. That's a decent setup. It's not exactly what he'd have been looking for. Because he may only get one dart at 65. a double. And you do not want to go 3 0 down to the big boy. Especially with a second breaker throw. Double six. Surely you can use that one. Oh, wow. It's nowhere near. Luger required. Right, that was a pearler of a marker for him. Tops for three zip. Oh my word. And when you feel like you can't make a mistake, you'll make mistakes. In fact, since the match play last year, when he went out in the semi finals, only lost five. One of them to Dimitri, final of the UK Open. Missed darts to win it. Seemingly unbeatable at the time in tournaments. Because in between all that, there was a couple of Premier Leagues and stuff. Wasn't winning every night. Single 20. Double 16. 14. Yes, yeah, so I didn't include the Premier League League fans. No, no. And you did, you did right. <laughs> oh, another. Oh, pinch it! 140. To go in the first Dimitri break at 3 2. And let me tell you, at 3 0 down, Dimitri could not have envisaged this. 3 2 it is. He will feel like this is okay. Oh, what a first time. 46 left. That's Humphrey's got a big combo finishing him right now. Treble 20. Leaves a bullseye. Not this time. To take the lead. It was 3 0 down. That's awkward. Got to move. Does move. Let me tell you, that is an absolute pearler of a dart. That is so accurate after moving, that's incredible. 
It's a great marker for a 54. 56. Draw it to Luke Humphreys that Dimitri didn't leave. The 170. 140. Well, he can't believe that that's gone through the others rather than being deflected or nudged in by the flights. Not happy with that. The 126 is makeable. Single 20. He can get past that. And he's so good at it. Luke Humphreys levels the match up at five apiece. Ten legs in, there is nothing between them. The world champion and the former match play champion all tied up at five apiece. The spell that he produced at the very start of this match, which looked like it was putting him in charge. Has Dimitri got something to stop him? 125. Well, he's left the finish, not the one he wanted, with one dart in hand. Okay, I like it. I like it. 57 with left tops. Very good. Another. <laughs> 178. Travel 18 for double 12. 20 for tops again then. There's his marker dart. Is it high enough? Clattered into it. Yeah. Yeah, you might get through a stem on a flight. You're not going to get through uh, 22 grams of tungsten. Maybe more. 23, 24. For a level game again. And there you see Dimitri has to move. Do you remember when he moved and hit the 32? He's not going to move and it tops. Luger required 20. Open up a little bit of daylight. It's exactly what he's got. Luke Humphreys consolidates that break of throw. It was an incredible performance, and this game was meant to be Luke Humphreys just showing all his wares and being better than Dimitri Vandenberg. Well, he's just asked himself, what's up? He does not feel like he is firing on all cylinders. He's still averaging in three figures here, but he knows there's more. There's another gear, there's more, loads more gears. He's got to stop giving out the old negative energy, though. You do it behind your opponent, not in front. A word with yourself when your opponent can't see you. Dimitri Just to break back and level. It is nip and tuck this game. Yeah. More nip and tuck than perhaps many expected. That was weak. Is that was power. Yeah. You see some players throw that last dart so quickly. Yeah. It's a weird thing that happens, you've thrown a really bad dart, you don't want to take your time with the next one because it ruins your rhythm. And you think it's all counterproductive. By taking your time. 130. He's not taking any time at all in this leg, Luke Humphreys. Because he has gone back to back. Cool hand has not hit a nine data in a big TV event. He's done it in Euro Tour finals. But this would be something special. 64, Come on now! <laughs> 39 for 32, or 51, whatever you fancy. The 167 is always pretty good, isn't it? If your opponent's on double 16 for a 10 data, yeah, it's just the wrong side of the wire, he can't get it going. It's another 57 97. for a break of throw and an 8 7 lead. That is very good from Luke Humphries. He knows he's telling himself to wake up, he is not happy. In various other finals on the pro tour, he has been playing consistently. World-class stuff, as you would expect of the yeah. world number one and world champion. 
Well, some people become world champ and kind of think, oh, I've done that, that's great. And then what of a bit of a lull. No, not this man. What a perler of a 60. Tonight, another treble in that visit will irk him. 51 for 32 is the plan. And the plan is executed superbly by Dimitri Vandenberg. Luke Humphries is playing at a better standard than Dimitri Vandenberg consistently. But it's not equating to more and more and more legs. And like, like rightly said, he's a little frustrated. This may not be straightforward. That's very nice, though. Double top. It was straightforward, it turns out, and it's 10 8. Could have brought the bullseye in second or third dart, it may not matter. It's a one treble combo for Humphreys for 12 8. Can he find his way through? Not on this occasion. 47. I think that Dimitri fell out the hand a bit dodgy. Big moments coming up here, you know. Dimitri has lost four of the last five legs. Tops, tops, no, 48. He knew exactly what he was doing. It's the ball when he wants at the 25. Can he tidy it up? No, he can't. Double six is missed, and Dimitri Vandenberg has kind of got away with it in this session. He probably should have lost it 4-1. He might get away just 3-2 down, in which case he's still in this quarter-final. Double top. Did he want it? Not a chance did he want that, Dan. But he wanted that and he got it. And that is another session that goes 3-2. And it's another session where Luke Humphries will feel, how on earth have I not won that 4-1? Dimitri, clearly the happier of the two, and he's the one trailing. It might be more than a second he's eight. Yeah, it, it, it's all gone south for the pair of them, really, even though Dimitri nicked the leg. That's what happens when you throw a prop. Look, look at the way they've gone in. They went in with more authority. They, they weren't wobbling in the board. Your darts tell you a story. 97. Well, at one point, Dimitri was hanging on. This is purely nerves. Everything about it's nerves. He's become flushed. throw them properly, he has taken a bit of time, he's in fact about 180s, and he might turn this leg in his favour. Double 16. Humphrey shuts the door, that is class, look at this. Oh, oh he's giving it the full Dimitri chicken. Oh. Nothing erratic about that though. This is Humphrey's making a move. Held dart, held his throw in 15 darts with a ton plus finish. Now threatening a four visit leg to break. Textbook. 56. It feels like a must go. If this was for a break, it's different. This is for a hold of throw. He's all over the place here. He's fighting a battle with himself here, Dimitri yeah. Vandenberg. He's winning it at times, but he's not winning it all the time, and that makes it difficult. Yeah. That was hard to come down from. It wasn't even a marker, but that was perfect. It's now 13-10. 66. We'll switch. 98. There's another dart where he didn't quite finish the throw. Credit to Dimitri Vandenberg for 
holding it together in this leg. 140. Again. For the bullseye. It is a 164. Surely that's a killer blow from the world champion. Dimitri Vandenberg has to leave something tidy. Got to keep straight. Has to keep straight. 95. Well, he leaves the biggest of them all, but he may not get a poke. It is on. Oh, couldn't pick out the two double 18s, but he'll leave himself on double top and Dimitri Vandenberg. This is to save himself. He's capable of anything, but not the 170. And I like the fact he's not just throwing. He may come back. The thing with darts is you've got to win it. You have to hit the winning double. Can't play for time. Tops for a place in the semi-final. The world number one wants double ten. And Luke Humphries, the world champ, overshadows Belgium's number one to book his place in a second successive world match play semi final. He outlasted the Belgian. He was made to work hard for it. There was a little moment when it looked him down.